I'm making flautas today. Chorizo, papa, and cheese flautas. Mm. To start making these flautas, I am going to be using around 9 to 10 ounces of chorizo. I'm also going to be using at least two medium potatoes works for this recipe. I had these four potatoes. One is red, the other three small ones are gold potatoes. Use what you've got. Here I have 20 cold corn tortillas and one cup of cheese. I think this is a cheese blend, like a Mexican cheese blend. Uh, use what you've got, you know me. Dig in your refrigerator, see what you can use. <laughs> so now I'm going to chop my potatoes into small pieces and now I'm going to cook them. I added a little bit of oil to my pan and I'm just going to cook these for about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, so while my potatoes are cooking, I just want to say this. Whatever method you prefer to use to cook your chorizo con papas, do that. That's fine. Um, I may do mine differently than the way you do yours at home, but I just want to let you know that you need to make sure that the mushy potato and the chorizo is paste-like and dry, your end result, because that's what's going to stay in the flauta. Uh, you know how chorizo renders a lot of fat? By the way, <laughs> I'm actually using vegan chorizo. I had some in the freezer and I realized my mom cannot eat meat, so one of the last times she was here, I bought her vegan chorizo and that's what I pulled out of the freezer, not realizing that. So I'm cooking my chorizo con papas a little differently because the vegan chorizo is not going to have a lot of rendered fat. So you'll probably want to cook your chorizo first, render the fat, remove most of it, add your potatoes, cook it until the potatoes are mushy and soft. And you want to make sure that it's kind of dry. Remove a lot of that rendered liquid and fat from the chorizo because um, if it's too loose or if it's too uh, has too much moisture, it's not going to fry well. So that's my tip. Back to the potatoes. <laughs> so as you can see, my potatoes have cooked. I've had them cooking for about 12 minutes over a medium heat. The cook time's gonna vary. If you're using a higher uh, temp for your heat source, then it might brown and cook a little differently. So these are almost there. So I'm gonna add that. And it's not going to render tons of fat, by the way. So if you're using pork or beef, like I said, make sure you render that fat and remove it. So now I'm going to continue cooking this together. Once I have this going a little bit further along, I'm probably going to cover it with the lid and just let it cook down. I might add my two tablespoons to a quarter cup of water to get the potatoes to get really mushy and just cook out that water. I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. I'm going to cover this with the lid, lower the heat to low, and just let this cook until the potatoes have softened and the water has evaporated. So here's what I ended up with. I'm gonna let this cool before I add the cheese. In the meantime, I'm going to work on my corn tortillas. You could lightly fry them on the stovetop, but I like to do this in the microwave, so I'm just going to brush them lightly with some oil in between each corn tortilla and I'm going to microwave it for about a minute and a half to two minutes. I don't have microwave safe um, cling film. If I did I'd use it but I'm just going to leave it uncovered and sort of flip them around every 30 seconds or so. So now that these are softened and pliable and they're kind of hot <laughs> I'm going to start assembling the flautas but first I'm going to add the cheese to the cooled chorizo con papas and as you can see the chorizo and papas they are kind of dry and to seal the flautas I'm using a combination of water and cornstarch it's almost equal parts it really forms like this watery paste so you're going to take your corn tortilla add around a tablespoon and a half of your filling and then you're just going to tightly roll it and sort of pull back on the roll midway to sort of tighten it and then right before you finish out the roll, you add your cornstarch paste, finish out the roll, and place it seam side down so it can stick before you fry. I'm gonna repeat this process until they are all done. Now that they're done, I'm going to fry them in, a, in preheated oil. This is around a half inch of oil, a third to a half inch of oil, 
and I brought it up to around 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That is a good fry temp. And I'm just going to fry these until the exterior is crispy and golden brown. All of my flautas are done and I've placed them on this baking sheet with a rack so any residual oil can run off of them. But now it's time to plate and top these. Today I'm going to be topping them with sliced tomato, shredded lettuce, onion. I also have some cotija cheese, Mexican crema, and I have a salsa that's left over from another video I made. We had a good run salsa, but you're almost gone. <laughs> so now I'm just going to show you how I plate and top these. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.